up, everybody? Welcome to the Last Days of War cast. We are Southern California based band, The Last Days of War. I am Mark. I'm Rob. I'm Danny. I'm Beats and Beats. And first on the agenda, gentlemen, shots. Shots. So, what are we doing today? Looks like good old Jack Daniels. And that, uh, no the old, old reliable. Cheers. Cheers. Uh. Yep. Yeah. Good. That's, uh, that's really good. Gentlemen, we played a show this weekend. Yes, we did. We did. How was it, Rob? Go. I don't know. Your beard stayed intact. <sighs> it did. You want to talk about that first? Let's talk about your beard and the growth that All you right. got going on right now. What's the verdict? Do I keep it? Do I get rid of it? I don't know. This is up to you. I mean, we're still I'm in November. I'm personally starting to dig it. It's, okay. it's finally, no pun intended, it's finally grown on me a little. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> so like, uh, but what are your thoughts, Danny, on my face? Go. I think we just keep going. Just keep going? I think we see Gosh. where we go with this. I'm still asking you for your ID, bro. Yeah, you got to grow. As long as you're comfortable, man, all for it. I, I, I dig it. Wife seems to like it. And if you want to get rid of it, yeah. you you owned up to your end of the deal. I did. I'll say, so yeah, I have to give you credit on. for that. So now whatever you want to do, that's all on you. All right. I'm going to go. If you say so. Saying it right now. Going one year without shaving. Ooh. From now? From uh, when we started, bro. What, what, two months ago? No, Three months no, ago? No, 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 no. You said from now. No, we like, got, okay. Tall ones from no. today. What's today's date? You don't want to say that, right? So, oh, no, we're live. Yeah, we're good. But it's, yeah, it's going to play 24th. later, though. So something like, we record them on a Monday. They release on Thursday, you guys, okay? 27th, 27th <laughs> is today. Okay. Yeah. It is that is, so there it is. What month is it? November? November, November 27th. So back, back November. Here we go. Back November, November 27th. You 24. can possibly shave. Possibly. Is that what you're calling? Yeah. Well, they'll, we'll re-up his contract well, next year. <laughs> or are you... Are I'll we re-sign for another, <laughs> another year. It's like, I can't <laughs> stand these a, whiskers take, anymore. Now for like a five year, you know? Yeah, dude. See how much money I can get next year for it. You know what I mean? But yeah, it's dude. It's looking good. It's looking good. I like it. Yeah. A uh, show. There was a show, bro. There was a show. Dude, people were talking about my fucking goatee, bro. You know I mean? <laughs> so many people. <laughs> so many people. That shit was over, dude. I was seriously approached by so many. They were like, Mark's. Bro, did you guys see Mark's facial hair, dude? Man. Beard's yeah. on point. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, it was on fleet. You know? Um, <laughs> no, it was a good show. Yeah, it was good show. I, the, yeah, it was weird. I Don't get me wrong. Seven o'clock start time. Like that, that threw me, and I, I, I didn't. Oh, you mean from the doors? Yeah, yeah, I mean, no, no one's gonna get there that early. Yeah, especially after Black Friday, you know, after Thanksgiving, after you know, one of the biggest drinking holidays. It's like, okay, let's just Head let's out just start seven out o'clock. seven o'clock. Let's start. Yeah, and then that uh, wasn't our decision, folks. No, but, no, not at all. But, but we I will did say, go on at eight thirty. We did go yeah. on at 8.30, and we had a very nice sized crowd, and I appreciate absolutely every one of you guys for coming out. That was amazing. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. So, anything else you guys want to discuss about the night? Um, I do want to apologize <clears throat> do it. for uh, uh, fucking up Breaking the Mold. Okay. Oh, no. I, wasn't sure if wanted, I wasn't sure if you wanted to like, talk know, about this. I don't this. know if anyone else saw this. Okay, we're, we're so I, saw, I was there, bro. I saw it. Josh, Josh was playing the hi hat, and I was telling him, "Open it up. I can't hear it. Like, open the hi hat." I'm watching and this happen, and I see Josh go, "What?" <laughs> and then, he, and then, like, and then he goes, "Oh, oh shit!" <laughs> and then he's like, realized he kept time one extra beat. Let like, me oh. you say, let me elaborate and explain that. Go for I it. wear in ears when we play, and I choose not to hear the backtracks, the vocals, the live mix, because we oh, have bullshit. so much shit in our tracks that there's points where it overtakes the click for me. So I only hear click in my ears. I don't hear anything else. We have set counts for each song. I count the actual 808 hits on that track. So in my brain, I'm listening to the click, counting, okay, that's four, that's five. I look up and I see you mouthing to me this sign and my brain not paying attention. 
what the fuck's he telling me? And on top of that, I'm wearing a mask, yeah. so I don't know if I can really I, I, I tell what you're asking I was just me like, to at do. At that point, it was like anytime I like try to get your attention, it was like shit. It's funny because he was but, wearing the mask, but I still saw the confusion. He was like, it, I'm yeah. sorry. I, I blinked, and then you my saw brain went a question mark pop up fuck. above his head, like, huh? Gumball says Mark is an animated Corey Feldman. <laughs> I, don't know how, I don't know how I feel about that, bro. Which dope. one? The one that knocks his face into <laughs> the microphone? Yeah. <laughs> that one. <laughs> uh, yeah. Gumball. Yeah, man. Gumball. Cheers. Gumball. I love it. <laughs> 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 yeah, man. Uh, I, I had a great night. Almost had a fight, dude, but it was all good. Oh, I love uh, fun. You don't know about that. <laughs> there was a very drunk gentleman there that was, my wife was trying to go in to the bar and uh, he starts like pushing back on her and like pushing her back out the door. And I can see like the confusion in her face. I'm like seeing what's going on. And then uh, I finally, I, like I walk up to the guy. I'm like, bro, let, my wife's trying to get by you. What are you doing? And then he starts like pushing into me. <laughs> so like, I kind of like, I grabbed him and I pushed him and I'm like, do we have a problem? And he was just like, and then I kind of clicked in his head, like what was going on? He was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. And then he like walked away, like he stumbled outside. Had it not been fellas with all the history and the fact, you know, like that this is your band, I would have beat the shit out of him right then and there. I was ready to fucking fight. And it was funny because Dustin, our boy Dustin, who's yet to be on the podcast, motherfucker. But uh, <laughs> he, uh, he was like, I don't give a fuck. I'm new here. I'm new in the band. I'll fight him. I'm going to go fight him. I was like, that's why Dustin's in this I band. Think I, 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 <laughs> I, like, caught, like, I caught like part of it out of the corner of my eye. And I think the dude thought like, Somebody bumped him, and I think he thought, like, mosh pit. Yeah, because he was just drunk. And yeah, shit, he dude. was really drunk, yeah. though. So it was just like, oh, shit. Yeah, I think I know who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, white hat. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, he was pretty anyway. drunk. <laughs> yeah, but I had, well, uh, but yeah. I had fun, man. It was really nice. This time um, we uh, we had an audio guy yeah. company there and everything, and it was cool. Shout out to Deckman. Yes, thank you, yes, Deckman. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it's which which years. We, I didn't have to, like, do all that stuff. So it was yeah. really cool. I saw he figured yeah. out. The situation he had because he was walking around with the tablet. Uh, our after. apologies. Remember he, was, he couldn't get it to sync. You get yeah. your ass yeah. stepped on. The oh. ass stepped on my shoe and messed up my heels. Oh, uh, that's... oh is that? Oh. Huh? oh, he got you too, huh? Yeah. Oh, he was he was walking around. He was just I think he was doing that all night. He was just bumping into people. Bro, I'm I'm, I'm so high right now. I felt like I read that like a third grader. That <laughs> ass stepped on my shoe. <laughs> like, Dead ass. <laughs> Dead ass, ass stepped, stepped on my, on my shoes. Shoes. What's that? What's that word? To he to hit? Oh, you mean the? Like <laughs> wait. So what? you almost had to fight. Her shoes got destroyed. Yeah. My wife got covered in beer. Oh Ooh. yeah, you did get covered in. Wait beer. a minute. Yeah, that last oh, beer I you gave her. Your that. son has a bigger mustache than you. My son. <laughs> what? Wait. Wait. Just okay. Wait a minute. He does. Wait a minute. But he looks just like me, so you know it evens out. They're like, what would you look like with facial hair? And he's I point not, to him. He's not donating. He's not, he's not helping you out in this. Is that where you're getting your hair like, from? Bro, I love my son, but I don't need him like saving his shavings for me to put on my face. That's weird, dude. <laughs> Wait a there minute. He is. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Oh God. We're gonna we're gonna see if you do fuck up your shaving from now until November twenty seventh. 2024. That's the year. You are going to have to replace what you shave off from whatever your son grows. Okay. There you go. He's like, I just got to fucking shave. Yeah, dude. <laughs> just, just don't shave. Day before, I just be like, hey, son, you, you need to clean it up a little, bro. Fucking like shave that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you, right now. you shave oh, your man. stash, glue it on your face. But yeah. yeah, but uh, dude, it was a lot of fun, man. Uh, the the whole show, man. Yeah. It was a good crowd. Shout out, fun. Victory Kid. Yeah, Nights Like Thieves. Assuming we survive. Good Fucking fellas. Awesome, awesome yeah. lineup. Good fellas bar and rancho. Thanks for having. Go us. buy beers there. Yeah. You know what I mean, hell yeah. That's what's up. Don't pick on Kevin. Don't. Anyways, pick. um, Dolly Parton, bro. We talking to talking to Dolly Parton, bro. Dude, Dolly like Parton. That, like so, that segue, dude. But hear me <laughs> out. People are hating on it. Why are hate Why, dude? What's up? What happened? It's Dolly Parton, bro. Yeah. Real quick. That's what you real have quick. to get. At her age right now, the way she looked, would you? Yep. There you go. Yes. <laughs> there you go. I got your answer, but, bro. 
But he was like, me. I feel like Rob's gonna be like, fuck yeah, Dolly Parton. Yeah. Like, no, but <laughs> I, I get who it is. Like, you have to just appreciate that she's, you know, Texas and doing the halftime show. That's like orgasmic for, you know, you, cowboy really? fans. <laughs> no, but for like any if you know Dolly Parton, she has like the most heart out of any fucking celebrity out there. She got a lot of heart, right? Hey, so why are people, what's what's the deal? Like, why are people... Uh... Well, no, there's just some people, the trolls out there throwing shade. Like, why the fuck do I want to see that? Is it, is it just shade or is it shade because there's like a reason behind it? Is I think it's it just, mostly because she's, of her titties. No, okay. shade. <laughs> <Don't play. laughs> Casting some shade. Casting some shade, bro. Right. Fucking. No, it's, <laughs> it's just that she's 77 years old, still rocking it, getting up on stage, doing what she loves. And people are hating because she's up there dancing with the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Like, fuck you. Like, that's a hard tryout in itself. Like, that's like the top tier cheerleaders. If you is know. it is it hate right. on the team or is Bro. it hate on the... On the interwebs. On the interwebs. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Rob, Rob, Rob shows up. Body shamers. Way, it's just a bunch I'm of body shamers. It's like, well, who wants to see that? And, like, even her sisters are coming to her aid on social media and being like, shut the fuck up. Just, yeah, she won't say it, but her family will tell you. Dude. So if you got a problem, Rob will fight you is what we're getting at. No. Why not? No, because that's not what it's about. But Hey, you just, know, I, I heard it, and the mix sounded really good. It sounded good. Hell yeah, dude. There was a... There was a snare drum and two drums a guy was hitting and the, there was a ring in the snare that I probably would have taken out of there but other than that it was oh, fuck, fuck that sound guy <laughs> ring fucking snare drum oh, yeah, no dude. it was good though yeah dude Dolly Parton dude one like, of these days dude she's gonna make it she's gonna, she's gonna blow up dude you know what I mean one she's of these some, days right platinum <laughs> right. I think so yeah no hey but if you you know how old I feel right now just because you're like oh who Ooh. Well, they say like this, regardless to whatever somebody's hating on her for, like 77 years old to get up there and do that, that's fucking, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Make it on her. I mean, no one's shitting on Ozzy or, you know, Iron Maiden. Yeah, I mean, he's like, Vince, 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 Remember when Ozzy was on that ATV and almost died? Did you ever see the picture? Of, that was like was it? 20 years ago, bro. <laughs> I remember all the other shit that Ozzy almost died for. <laughs> Biting the head off a bat. Fucking <laughs> Thought it was fake. Oops. Whoopsie. <laughs> My bad, bro. <laughs> what does tetanus taste like? <laughs> you know? No, sorry. It's rabies. I know. I'm just fucking with you. But, you know, either way, you can't taste the difference. Um, <laughs> what's the you next? know this side of experience huh? yeah. what's this oh, next uh, an mm. Apple's latest update mm. We're talking I heard about, about this okay. I guess uh, what go they, for it they make phones right they make Apple makes some phones okay so I guess apparently with Apple if you have a app that did so well when it started they will just start integrating it into your phone like for example Shazam if you want you can uh, have Shazam on your phone when you pull down menu and you can just Shazam a song and you don't even need to have the app on your phone anymore. There was an app back in the day called Bump where you would fill out your information in this app and you would just bump another iPhone that had Bump and you would exchange a business card. It was the dot card okay. essentially. So instead of <clears throat> Now reaching for your phone, you have the dot card and you can just say, hey, tap this. Boop. There you go. There's my information. Contact me. But Bump was this stupid app at the beginning. It was like, dude, check this out. Boop, boop. Oh, that's cool. And then I just filled out a bunch of fake information to send it to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I work at Paper Street Company, you know. It's like, oh, fuck, yeah. It's business from fight club anyways uh i got you Deep cut, i know where you were going with that so but anyways uh they just started integrating this new uh what is it fucking called 
near drop name drop name drop drop. so it's essentially the same fucking thing like here's my contact info and your phone just has to be next to it now parents are freaking out that someone can set down their phone next to their kid's phone and get their information yeah that's not the worst part of it is them setting next like decoys up next to your phone and getting all your information from other sources you know what i'm saying Mm -hmm. That's where it starts getting scary, and you're just like, uh, okay. Yeah, that's why I got a fucking Android, bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, isn't there a setting you could turn this off? No, his text is always green. That's no, Apple's no, fault. No, no, no. That's well, Apple's fault. <laughs> no. Josh, it's Apple's yeah. fault. Yeah, because you yeah. don't have an Apple phone. So on Apple, we'll get back to that. But first off, um, you can't turn this feature off. Because I heard no, that you there can, was you some can, settings. but the default okay. is set to on. I hear the default is on, and if you go to like general, but and then here's you go the in thing: to like it gives you the breakdown setting. of everything it's introducing onto your phone, right. anyways. Most people are skip, 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 skip. Get me back to my fucking phone. Right. This is just simply, hey, here's every step. Okay, show me this option. Okay, turn that off. That should be in that. Yeah. It is. It is. That's the thing. But everyone's just skip, skip, right. skip, skip, skip. Like we're tired of commercials. Have, like, have either of you ever read the fucking the contracts before you press yes to keep going? Have you ever read those? The no, user I, agreements. I, I, I send them to my lawyer. <laughs> I'm just saying. I've never read a user agreement for anything. Have you? No, are you kidding me? Yes, yeah. I have. Really? Yes. I was on a plane flight and I had no service. So <laughs> all I could do. So you read the whole thing. I read the whole the thing. The equivalent of reading the back of the shampoo yeah. bottle when you're shitting. Yeah. <laughs> no, because like I just got the new shit right before we went to Europe. And I was like, cool, I got all this. I'm going to set this up. And I'm like, you know what? I got no Wi-Fi, but I can read this user agreement. There you go. That killed time, man. Why not? Fuck yeah. And you're reading it on a watch. And you're just like, yeah. <laughs> on a watch. <laughs> yeah. oh, shit, oh, I was it's, flying to Europe. You got some fucking time. Just, you didn't at least get the magazine or anything. Like that? <laughs> on a watch. They didn't have anything. The no. little pamphlet. It was yeah. in my bag. Were you, were you it, was, this? it was somewhere on the plane. Were you, were you, you were just sitting down. You weren't. Were you in the bathroom shitting or something? No. no. It was, it, it's a. Seat. It's a like a twelve-hour flight. Just imagine Ten-hour flight in the airplane. <laughs> like big ass Rob. Uh, no, dude. I don't even use the restroom. Wow. Ever? Ever. Ever. <laughs> in in a plane? I've been holding Never. It for so He's long. been holding it for a while. That's no. why he's so tall. No. You, you don't want to break the seal, dude. But it's like putting break heat. The seal champion it's like here. you don't want to put heat in the bus. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you you don't want to put heat in the bus. That's right. Okay. Man. I feel that. Like you get to the club, everyone's like, okay, what are we doing? We sound check it. What time? Cool. See you in a minute. Whoop. Ba 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 ba. Hang in. Get out, go get some food. Oh, no shitting in the bus. Yeah. I'm with you now, bro. I'm Fucking there. Fucking Christ. Holy Welcome to the conversation, shit. Mike. <laughs> get back here, Mike. Mike has entered the chat. Mike. Yeah, so I, I hear that there's something going on where the green and blue bubbles are going away. Yeah, and it's Apple's fault. So that you guys have been hating on Android, dude. No, it's just so we could tell who has an Android. <laughs> That's the only reason <laughs> That's why. why. Shame yeah. this man. <laughs> Wait, what? what? What are you doing with your less less superior phone? Bro. Andrew's got it all, bro. You don't have to pay for any of those apps. You don't have to pay for anything. No, neither do we. No, you do, bro. No, I still pay my phone bill. You guys are paying to get features removed every year. They just took away your guys' phone jack. The fucking, they changed the chargers on you guys. They no, always, they, no, listen. They changed one thing on an iPhone. And Bro, that's it. I'm going to tell you this. I could charge my phone through my case. Yeah, so could I. Yeah, but like my jack is fucked up. Like, don't get me wrong. I could just throw my case. Oh, I can still use the jack because mine's completely fine. Bro. <sighs> Win. It's good. So you don't work as hard. <laughs> I understand both. You guys worked it out? Uh, we good? We good? Yeah, no. So, anyways, I hear that, I hear that that whole thing might be going away, where there's not going to be any like. No, it's still going to send me a whole. I'm sorry, Daddy. Mark out, like, like yeah. this text, and I'm like, oh, holy shit! I don't need a whole other text saying Mark like. Like Cholo's coming out. Who said that? You did. <laughs> you guys did. Put it away. Put it away. Can you put it away? Bad, you know. Do it, do it. You know what I'm saying? 
gonna start talking to whistles pretty soon. I'm just waiting for your mom to hey, peek around hey, the corner hey, with hey, a chunk hey, one. Talk about my mom Take me out. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was just like your mama joking me right it's now. A I'm like, oh, fuck. No, we're no, talking no, weapons. No, no, but boomerang chocolate. That's, a, dude. that's the she scariest never part of a cholo. Like, is the the mom. <laughs> Yeah, because that's when they stop. They're like, oh, mom comes God. out. It's like, fuck, everyone back down. Yeah, dude. Who was doing it? He was doing it. He was, no, no, that's not what you said. <laughs> I can confirm this with uh, growing up with many family members that were cholos. So. Can I tell you uh, a really weird story? Uh-oh. Do it. Let's go. Do it. Okay, one night. Just don't get us canceled. I, no, do no. It. <laughs> this, I, it, it doesn't involve that word. Anyways. <laughs> Um, I like how we still remember the, the, the word. Yeah. The word. We all, okay, we we all know. We can't say Buckle the word. Buckle up, everybody. Um, all right. So it was the night before my birthday, and I'm at the bar with these two older gentlemen in their respective, I want to say, late 50s, early 60s. They served time. They did their thing. And back in their day, all they had in the bars was Jack, was like the go-to. You had to have Jack, and then it was like some knockoff vodka or, you know, the Wells. But you always had to have Jack, so you can go into any bar and order Jack. Well, then let's drink Jack. Then closer to midnight, a group from a south town called Pomona starts showing up into the bar. And you can see them just roll in. They're just... But there's clearly a leader because he's the bigger dude and whatever. It was Rob. No, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. But at one point, I stumbled up to the bar and the bigger gentleman's there and he's like, hey, what's up, Bigfoot? Now, I don't know if I could say the next part, but. <laughs> Good segue. Good segue. Anyways. Dolly part. <laughs> it, it, I'm not proud of this moment, but it was like, what? And all his people got up and surrounded me. And I look outside of the group of dudes. I, like, I score up with each guy. And I'm like, okay, I see it. But behind them, I see these two 60 year old dudes. It's like, we're going to fuck some shit up. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, wait, they're ready to throw down with you, dude? Bro, yeah, they're dude. ready to just like, hey, one of them pulls out anything, we're yanking them. And I'm like, no, 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 hang on. Wait, wait, wait. We got this. We're here for a celebration tonight, gentlemen. As you guys are, let's do a shot. Celebrate. We all ended up cheers and drinking together. And then one dude got arrested. Anyways, that's it. I hey, mean, I miss my cousins, dude. No. <laughs> <laughs> you should be out any year now. Any year now. Any year now. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Yeah. Is your cholo still hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit, Doug. Welcome you know back. I mean? It pops out here or there. You pops out here and there. There we go. Sorry. Uh, All right. So, uh, uh, what do we uh, music review? Oh, yeah. No, wait, wait, wait. wait. Should we do one of these? Yeah. Oh, let's do hot takes. Let's, let's each do one. Hot and then takes, we'll do takes, go over one of the songs we heard. Hot takes, hot takes. Oh, yeah. Let's, yeah, we'll, here we go. We'll do music. Right here. Do it. Mm. <laughs> I had to read that one like four times, dude. I was like, what is it saying, dude? <laughs> English. I was like, oh, I, don't, I still don't think I understand do you it. Do you want me to translate it for you? In Spanish. Am I going first? Is that what's going on? Yeah, have all, right. all right, hot take, guys. Arguments actually bring you closer in a relationship. How do you feel about that? Well, <laughs> yes, if you don't communicate. But if you, if you constantly are talking with your partner in communication and open about what the fuck's going on, hey, I got this going on, I got to do this. The problem is, is guys are who, what, when, that's it. Like, okay, cool. Bye. But girls are like, I don't want this detail. I want this detail. I want this detail. I want to know that. I want to know this. And when you're leaving, and if I can do this and that. And it's like, yeah, cool. You got you got all that. Just this, that, that. Bam. Cool. 
Ditto. Dude. <laughs> you know what I'm, but I'm just saying, like, most most guys are just like, dude, I don't care. She's fucking crazy. She's talking about other nonsense that I don't even fucking care about. Well, it's like, well, you need to care about she, her needs, too. My, my my wife doesn't have, like, an argumentative bone in her. Like, I don't think, I don't think I've ever heard her raise her voice. Have you ever hit her? I had to get used to, I had to, what? <laughs> No, bro. Oh. Like, bro. But like, uh, fucking, <laughs> I lost my train of thought. But like, <laughs> just, just so I'm gonna say, sure. I'm gonna say, if if it doesn't <laughs> resort to hitting her and you're uh, you communicate, I think that yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, she just she just doesn't. She's not an argumentative person. So it, I had to get used to it because I grew up in a house where everybody argued. You know, uh, yeah. I so when I was like, you know. There's a situation we're not agreeing upon something, and I'm like, why? Why aren't you yelling at me? You know, like, like, like I'm waiting for it. You know, yeah. So, so she's just not like that. Like I said, communication, guys. Communicate. Yeah, talk to Brought me. to you by the letter C Q. <laughs> Communicate. Why was there a pause in that? Bro? I had to think about it, bro. C. Why was it in the form of a question? C. <laughs> Okay, who's up next? Next one. Go, right. Danny. <laughs> meeting someone through a dating app is less meaningful than meeting them in person. I'm going to say that it, I think it depends on what you're looking for. Yeah, because if you're looking for some cheeks, whatever. Dude. You look for yeah. cheeks, I mean, you don't kind of care about that. If you're trying to b b I think if you're looking it, for dude? something meaningful, I think it's, it's, I don't know, I me personally, I've always felt uh, oh, you guys meeting be doing someone that? in true? person is good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Josh. Go. Go. What do you think? Now that I got fucking outed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I met my wife through something like that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Mom. I, I assume it's working out. <laughs> How's that going for you, Josh? For the past, six, <laughs> for the past 16 years. There yeah. it is. So, yeah. so it is meaningful. But it was also, uh, like you said, communication and meeting the person in person itself. Like we talked for a couple months before we actually met each other. Yeah, I think right. another thing too is if you meet somebody that is kind of common goals of you, then excuse me, we are trying to have a workout. <laughs> <laughs> they they can't hear them. They can't they can't hear them through the mics. No, yes. please don't. <laughs> My ears are still ringing and they are so, really bad. I'll take. I'll take. Go, Josh. I'll take. I'll take. Flirting is cheating. Yes, hundred percent. Unless no. you're flirting with me, bro. Well, what if you're flirting with your wife? No. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't get... flirt with my wife. I don't believe in cheating, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I flirt. I flirt with, I have, me, like, bro. for instance, I have some, like, cholo friends that I flirt with that I worked with House of Blues and stuff like that. Like, I have buddies and shit like that. I mean, I flirt with buddies, but I don't really typically, like, flirt with women I meet because I'm married, so. Hear me but, out. But, like. Dude, flirt with women? That's gross. Yeah, it's gross. Dude. No, I mean, <laughs> but what are you doing? my wife, being a bartender, doesn't consider it flirting. She considers it being hospitality, you know, just yeah. being like, hey, what do you need? What can I get you, honey? I knew a bartender that we would have a gay, gay dance club night, and he would literally wear a speedo and put it on and act the whole thing and the dude would make like three grand show us those pictures again <laughs> <laughs> again what again <laughs> when you, you saw these already hey, <laughs> hold so now those, so those to be good <laughs> yeah man uh I, I see what you're saying though rob yeah yeah. You saw what was I saying? No, <laughs> I no. Say, I was just say. thinking like you can name drop in the fucking pictures. I mean, I, I think boop. if you're gonna have an argument, I think the argument would be is what the intent is. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, if I feel like you're, you know, it's like you're messing around and having a good time, it's one thing. But like if, if you're, you're just trying to get some tips, that's cool. Yeah. Well, but if, you're but what if you, you are a no. stripper, your whole job depends on you flirting well, that's, with that's the customer. That's different, bro. No. Yeah. Well, I think if you're going like to be if with you're a stripper, stripper, you accept that the Yeah, if you're married to a stripper, job, where did you think yeah. that was going? Yeah. yeah, but it's just kind of just the whole thing at the bartender is the difference is, is the service. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? No, like, I totally get it because working in the hospitality, like you, we have the girls you that put make up the with tips. So much, we have like, the hot girls on the golf cart because they're the ones who get the tips. If it wasn't such a shitty fucking society, we wouldn't have a Hooters, right? You know? Yeah. 
but it's also a lot of them don't even really have to try flirting, bro. There's fucking dudes everywhere. They're like, oh, she fucking smiled at me when she came and got my order, dude. She's into me. Like, so that's okay. that's you know, what I'm like, saying. <laughs> you know, that's like, why I'm saying. But I mean, she she did her job, bro. Like, but, yeah, like, but perception like, is reality. Like, I, yeah, for sure. Like the way you perceive something is obviously how you're gonna believe it. Now, whether you're on the spectrum, oh well, that's up for you and society to determine. But that's where it starts getting okay. Were you flirting or were you just being friendly? You know? Yeah, yeah like then that also comes in or brings the question into your trust in your relationship where you know your said wife or whatever mm-hmm. in your mind is she really flirting or is she doing what you said like she's just doing her job and you're comfortable with her in her situation that hey she's on the clock she's doing what she has to do knowing that at the end of the shift that shit stops well i'm sure you guys have communicated this right well yeah, yeah that's good but it's yeah. it's just one of those things like hey i know what your job entails like guys are gonna constantly hit on you because you are in their face you're giving them alcohol and they're just going to feel yeah. loose lip the longer it goes on but yeah. and with that we should take a break we'll be right back what's up guys danny and mark from the last days of war what's going on just wanted to remind you guys that you guys can follow us on all our social media pages it's we the, got the tiktok and the instagram and the uh, facebook and threads those are all the last days of war and x is the last days of war because the is too long uh check out our merch that's a great way to support the band it is in our bios on all of our social media pages anything else danny have a good one back to the show and we're back what's up guys uh you guys real quick shots man you know what i mean shots shots to oops all berries guys oops. what cheers cheers there you go. Yeah, yep. guys. So Taco Bell. <laughs> this is a great story, dude. You said you read the article. I read the article go. and uh, what why why is it me? It's always me tonight. Danny, we take this one. Because you can't. Because oh, okay. Because I read this, I read this about a week ago. About a week ago. Uh, there was a Christmas party, okay, at a Taco Bell. Last year. Last year. It was last no, year. Obviously, right? Because uh, it wasn't this year. This was, it was in still true. way too it's soon. Very California. True. Was it Northern California? Was um, it it was, that sounds like some California I think shit. It, it was, said it was San Pedro, I think. Okay. Yeah, might have been that. Uh, Christmas party, I guess. Uh, person shows up to the party. Windows were all, like, sealed up and cameras covered cameras covered and then there was like somebody having doing sexual acts with multiple people being cheeks i think Boy, drugs okay. and all kinds of stuff like that not not to make it so like ugh. i uh, don't know <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna make that but hear me out like if you get to have a christmas party for your company let's say it's and you got to give a couple hand jobs. Just that built. No, but it's just like, hey, let's have an actual Christmas party. Like, where you're just, yeah, drinking, having fun. The dude was having sex with his wife. The manager was ended up having sex with his wife behind the counter while she was making out with two other managers. That seems like a lot going on, bro. And and you're gonna make this not. So I'm not. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not trying to justify you're, what you're they're doing. This, okay. But what we're I'm not, saying not, I mean, is, whatever they want to do, that's is up to they. Them, you know? I guess they were having a private event with two other dudes. Right? No. Oh, you mean Taco Bell itself? The the other managers were female. Oh, okay. Oh, so it does. Okay. But, yeah. All right. No. Bear fine. With me. I mean, but when you talk about it from so, the standpoint here's, of a legal so thing here's, with Taco Bell, so here's where it starts it getting dicey. Party, the girl. Right. It was a potluck situation. The girl who's filing luck, the <laughs> the girl who's filing the complaint <laughs> brought guacamole. Cacamole. <laughs> they some fucking cacamole and they People fucking barfed it. So it. here, wait. Yeah. So they end That's up having what this little. Offended me sex scene going on i'm assuming they were probably playing a game or truth or dare or something like that escalated really quickly because alcohol was involved 
Yes. I guess the manager brought alcohol because it was a private party and he was just like, I'm going to take responsibility, whatever. But he didn't, whatever. Um, so they end up doing this. She goes, I got to get my bowl and get the fuck out of here. She goes back in for her bowl and sees that the couple are now throwing up. One is throwing up into a trash can. The other one is throwing up into her guacamole bowl. Yeah. Do you think that uh, the lady that was mad about it was just, you know. I think she's mad because she wasn't. threw like, up in her guacamole. Like, I mean, maybe she wanted some cheeks clapped, you know. Yeah, well, hear me out. Here, like, here's my whole thing. Hold on, hold on. Have a my whole thing with the situation. <laughs> have any? Have, do you guys ever had Taco Bell and be like, "Hey guys, let's fucking have sex right after Taco Bell"? What the fuck? That sounds just, like a horrible idea, dude. <laughs> what number on the menu is that? I'll take a number sixty-nine. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. Fucking take a symphony of Sixty-nine and an eighty-six. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the folks what an 86 is. Go. Just please don't eat the food before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it? man. Fucking, I just think it's weird that, you know, Taco Bell was involved with fucking people having sex. It just doesn't make sense to me, dude. I used to talk about. No. Don't get near me, No, bro. it was a private event. That's not my, that's not, that, that's not my beef with it. That's fine. So, but like, so you're saying that, that the management of this Taco Bell through a company party shut that was down, private, shut down the so Taco Bell for the night. So they your can other employees and you're a manager there that like you invite them to this party and there's that happening and that's not sexual harassment in any type of way or oh no God, no 100 percent it is because but, Taco Bell works under the United States government and there's laws like workplace laws and yeah. that so like like when you say that Taco Bell's pretty fucked you know what I'm saying well at least that store dude. no just yeah. yeah that store is done pretty right. much it's like they're gonna turn it into a gas station we all know this <laughs> Taco Bell you're fucking cancelled dude you're done you're a Del Taco Shh. no more throwing up in the guacamole for you <laughs> if you guys you talk about you like fucking having sex with three chicks dude you're you know gonna I mean? turn into like a <laughs> Lamberto's or a sounds like a plan Alberto's or <laughs> Charles like, I'll take a number three. <laughs> Soft Taco Supreme Soft with tacos. three. Cream on the side. <laughs> Coming right up. My Great question, sauce. though, Taco Bell, and she brought guacamole. Yeah, dude. Don't they fucking have They're that like there already? No. Nope. The they don't. They no. Don't I don't eat guacamole. They so. do, but it, no. It's not, it's it's not, not guacamole. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Okay. It's, just, it's called it's a guacamole so shit. Like, <laughs> no, it it's just, it's that squeezy shit. Watered down avocado. There you paste. go, and you're like, oh, what is this? <laughs> it's green. They <laughs> like green. <laughs> did, did you want it's some green? The, mm. Are you guys red sauce or green sauce, guys? Uh, I'm both. Both. Me too, dude. I put See, both. See, yeah, I'm in, both. Bro. No, oh, go, um, I'll take you the one, man. I, 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 uh, I don't discriminate. Green though is kind of uh, it hits. You know, there's days where it's like green sauce for green sure. Green sauce, dude. How about you, Josh? Um, I'll, what do I eat? <laughs> <laughs> you all about that green? Green. green. Yeah. Whatever my wife said. Green. Get, getting wife confirmation <laughs> here, guys. What do I eat? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I eat. She just makes the plate and you I eat it. it so what do it, I eat? Drink it. It's you. You green, motherfucker. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, the green sauce is fucking dope, dude. I like green sauce over red sauce just in general. Like, I didn't mean to hit the microphone. But, uh, yeah. It might dude. hit you back, though. Yeah. It might. <laughs> yeah, dude. What's your go to Taco Bell order? Taco Bell? Guacamole. Bro, why did smoke come out of you right now? What? <laughs> what? what? <laughs> what? Dude, are you a dragon? I'm just You're heated. Fucking dragon I'm right heated. Now, I'm fucking heated. I didn't see. You hit something. I didn't see you do it, though. Yeah. There you go. Ninja. <laughs> uh, go to Taco Bell? Yeah, dude. I don't know what they have now. They went all healthy and they shit. Got, they got tacos. And yeah, honestly, dude. they don't sell bells. But it's, mm. you know. No bells? No bells. <laughs> <laughs> no whistles. Shit. Uh, just sex parties. Exactly, dude. Oh, boy. Um, I'll have what she's having. <laughs> Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> like yeah, in that dude? story. Okay. No, no. The manager? No, All right. No. <laughs> he said, I'll have what she's having. The manager. No, but. No, but. <laughs> the, the two other managers for me. Yeah, no. Oh, shit. 
Uh, uh, you, I would say uh, I go for the Mexican pizza. I go for a double decker taco. <laughs> double decker taco. <laughs> yeah, same thing, right? Okay, you feeling me? I got you. Cheesy gordita crunch. I get two. Words. Yeah, it's That's still it. the same thing. What'd you get? Soft taco supreme meal and yeah. a crunch wrap supreme. Everything we just named all the same ingredients. Yeah, just but different what's your ways. drink? <laughs> what's your drink? My drink? Uh, the Baja Blast, bro. What are you? That Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, you, bro. I, mean, I mean, you know. Fuck. Um, what what do, do I drink? Diet Coke? <laughs> <laughs> no, but they have Pepsi. So you Pepsi. Drink Diet, Diet Pepsi. Pepsi. Yeah, whatever is sugar free or whatever. <laughs> I don't handle nothing. I don't order food. I don't do anything. I just eat. You know she what? She prepares it, I eat it, that's I it. I love that watch so this. much. Wait, wait, watch this. I'm more of a Pepsi guy. And you know who else is a Pepsi guy? CM Punk. And CM guess Punk who returned is. this week on wrestling? Oh, Good segue. fucking Good segue. Suck, 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 wait. Go. Uh, beep, beep, beep. CM so Punk. CM Go. Punk just came out at Survivor Series and debuted in WWE after, what, eight, ten years? About almost ten years. Almost years. ten years yeah. now of being out of WWE and shit, talking WWE and saying he'll never come back to WWE. Stop there. I'll fill you guys in as to why he said he'll never come back to WWE. <clears throat> he was uh, not happy with his position in the company at the time, and he left, and then uh, Vince McMahon fired him on his wedding day. Like he knew that he was gonna be married that day and they sent, he got his papers. There's an interview with Vince McMahon who claims it was coincidence, like he didn't know, but I'm pretty sure the dude knew, you know? Uh, he, and then Punk went on his friend's podcast, uh, Colt Cabana, uh, and he just basically ripped into WWE, like, you know, Triple H is an idiot, Vince McMahon's an ass and this and that, and they were giving me fucking med packs and he shit his pants in one of the matches because of it they just kept pumping him with shit he didn't need he was like bro i'm i'm sick and i need to recover and they're like no you're good here just take a z-pack that's what it is fucking came to me right now dude a z-pack and uh so yeah so all that shit happened and he was like i'm i'm fucking done with wrestling i'm done with this and then he went to aew aew shit happened we talked about how he got kicked out before mm -hmm. he got kicked out of AEW, <clears throat> and everyone's like, "Is he gonna go back to WWE?" Ah, oh, that'll never happen. That's, there's no way. And uh, he debuted this past weekend at Survivor Series. He came out at the very end of the show. Triple H uh, loves to do this thing where, like, they show the closing graphic, and it's like, "Oh, the, the fucking uh, whatever, what's it called? The meeting after the post scrum is coming up next." You know, like they have like a little countdown. So they tease you that the show's ending, and instead of it going fading to black, CM Punk's music hit, and it went fucking, it was a crazy pop because they were in Chicago. CM Punk is from Chicago, and it's just one of those moments in wrestling where it's like... What does CM stand for? Uh, Chick Magnet. What? Yeah. Hmm. Cookie Monster. Chicago Mate? No, it stands for Chick Magnet, bro. He's, he's said it before. Back in the indies... It was CM Punk, and he was then he would make shit up, and he would be like, "Yeah, it stands for Chick Magnet." So yeah. Anyways, I think it's awesome that he's back, and uh, I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with them. There was a lot of uh, employees now, Drew McIntyre and Seth Rollins, who were not happy with the fact that he debuted. Apparently, that was like one of the best kept secrets in wrestling that's happened in years because of the internet. Shit gets out. Shit gets leaked. Triple H, uh, well, I forget the other guy's name. The Con, I forget his first name. It's not Tony. Tony's from uh -huh. AEW. But anyways, so basically Triple H Nick. and the, Nick Con, yeah. So basically only them two and like CM Punk knew that CM Punk was coming back. Triple H called them like a week before. They had a talk. They're like, it's been 10 years. We're different people. Fucking bury the hatchet. Let's fucking do business. And CM Punk's back and I can't fucking wait to see what they do with them, man. Yeah, Drew McIntyre apparently was so mad about it, he... Stormed, stormed out stormed before out. it even happened. Yeah, like he fucking put his hoodie on and he fucking left the building. And I personally think, Rob, that the reason why he was so pissed about it is because his contract is coming up and he's been trying to get more money and they won't give it to him. And then they signed CM Punk for millions. So he's like, well, what the fuck, you know? 
Stick around. Just yeah, stick so around. That's all I can tell you. A lot of people were pretty pissed about it. And apparently tonight he cut a promo saying... Uh, he's not there to make friends. Yeah, he's not there to make friends. He's there to make money. And if, you know, you got a problem with it, fucking take it up or creative, I guess, you know? Fucking. He's going you know, like full Mel Gibson. Don't give a fuck anymore, apparently. Yeah, mm-hmm. Do you care at all, Danny? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, welcome to Danny Josh, Center the chat. Care? Josh just woke up, huh? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I remember when he got his ass whooped in UFC. He did. Oh, yeah. 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 It's the last I remember. Mr. 0-2. 0-2, dude. 0-2. I mean, it was like, Brock Lesnar did it. Watch this. He got his fucking ass whipped, dude. <laughs> Twice. It's a whole different ballgame, you know? Yeah. Do you think you can fight CM Punk, dude? Uh, I wouldn't try it. Huh? Nah. What about you, Rob? Would I? Yeah. Would you fight him? Hell yeah. You can beat him? I mean, well, let's, let's Fuck see. yeah, money's money. Money, money. Josh, you wait, fight you're, wait, you're saying you're saying like not like like I'll go whoop his ass, but like you're saying like like uh, UFC fight you versus CM Punk. You getting paid? If you paid me, I'll fuck me. Shirts off, bro. You you get more money. You get more money if you win. Yeah. How about you, Josh? You fighting CM Punk? Right. I would, but I thought CM Punk and Seth Rollins were the same dudes. <laughs> that's, oh, that's but they really fucking they hate really each hate other. each other. He was the other guy. And so he was in the main event. But then again, I think this is a long way to beef. This is like Undertaker and Brock Lesnar type yeah. shit. It's, like, uh, it's, I feel it's so fucking WWE scripted. is in their blurred lines era what? to where they're trying to like do things to where you don't know what's what's scripted and what's reality. And so they, they're claiming that Seth Rollins... Vince McMahon really died big. in a limousine explosion. He did, but it was fake, dude. I knew that. Yeah. Chris Benoit killed his family. The than day himself. after, bro. The week, the day, the day after, dude. The day after the limo thing. Like, like, so he did the limo thing. He was gonna ride himself. Supposedly, he was gonna ride himself off television. He was done with the Vince McMahon character. So he stepped into this limousine, closes the door, it explodes. By the way, folks, Donald Trump believed that Vince McMahon really died and called to make sure he was okay. Supposedly. Okay. <laughs> so, blurring, <those> lines, <laughs> blurring lines, bro. Fucking good old Trumpy Trump, dude. Anyways, that'll give us some dislikes. Jeffrey Epstein, <laughs> are you okay? Sorry, wrong number. Vince, but yeah, don't care. So the whole Chris Benoit thing happens. Mm-hmm. And the very next week, McMahon had to come back because Benoit died. And they didn't know at the time that he had killed his family. They just knew. Oh, we found no. bodies. People mm. are murdered, and they decided to have a tribute show to him before knowing all the fucking... No, they know, knew it. Every, yeah. Everyone knew it. The shitty part is, is he was a great wrestler. Amazing wrestler. One of you the best. Ha- you yeah. have to acknowledge what he did in the ring. What he did outside the ring is so grotesque that you don't acknowledge it anymore. Yeah. I won't, I won't even go And that's what the he best did. way to yeah. do it. It's just like he was amazing for what he did, but... The toll it took on his life is so unfortunate. What? She's taking a picture. <laughs> Who fucking cares? We're live. It, we're doing a podcast. Hang on. Okay, go ahead. There's go. gonna be tons of pictures. Multitask. Multitask. Go, bro. But like, it just you have to still like accept what they did for the business mm. and how they helped better it and say like, this is what you need to perform at if you're gonna go with this format style. Like back in the day. You had wrestling, and, well, you also had UFC, which took karate versus a wrestler versus a jujitsu guy versus a boxing guy. And versus put, an alpha jaconian, dude. Go. God damn it, this thing won't <laughs> fucking die. Anyways, <laughs> but it was mixed martial arts. Like, it was different fucking fight styles, not everyone doing the same fight style and knowing how to whoop each other's ass. Like, if you're a big dude, you're just going to go in there and box the fuck out of each other and call it a day. If you're a little dude, it's about takedowns and escapes. And it's like, okay, know your fights, though. I get it. But... Yeah, UFC back in the day was brutal. It used to be mixed. It was mixed. It was like 300-pound dudes going against like dudes that were like... And and you're just like, dude, if he gets a hold of that guy... He's done, dude. Nothing's mixed anymore. We're just watching martial arts. Green sauce on that dude and eating them, dude. You know what I mean? At that point. And then you got to realize you're just watching, hey, this is fucking karate. Mm-hmm. Like, it's martial arts. It's street fighting. Like, well, and now the sport is, I mean, it's mixed martial arts. And it's, everybody Everybody kind of has all the disciplines. And it's, it's but almost, the, it's the, the difference was, itself, is you know? like, 
there was a different like, oh, I get to see how this would work. Karate versus a boxer. Like who would win? Kickboxer yeah. or boxer? The dude with the gun. <laughs> he wins, dude. Well, well it's weapons. like who would win? It's just some Jean cowboy Claude Van Damme or Ready Mike Tyson. <laughs> I get you. And you're just like, who? Oh, what was it? Mike Tyson Mike who? Tyson or Jean-Claude Van Damme? What do you think? Go. This is the question for the week. Well, oh, no, but shit. then you get Vince McMahon who enters the chat. No, it's no, like Jean John Cla Wick enters the conversation. True. You're like, oh, shit. But do you think Jean-Claude Van Damme can beat Mike Tyson? I think if Mike Tyson touches him once, he's done, dude. Yeah. We talking pre tattoo or after tattoo? Are Mike Tyson? Like, yeah. No. Are we talking, are we talking Mike. before or after we like, the hangover? Are we like <laughs> Jean no. Claude and like I, blood I still, sport think, I still like... think Mike's got it. Like Mike oh, still yeah. has it. Don't get me wrong. Mike still has it. Mike all day. Would you take a Mike punch right now at his age? Would I take a Mike punch from Mike right now? Yeah. No. When I was 20, yes. No. Now, fuck no. No. Oh, Wait, where is he I would, I would disintegrate in into fucking burrito dust, dude. Yeah. It would be fucking ridiculous. Die. You know what I mean? I keep I trying to tell him burrito dust isn't real. <laughs> That's his <laughs> cheese flakes. I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to hit Tyson. I don't want to give him a hug. It's burrito dust. No, that's your cheese falling out of your Would you take a Mike Tyson punch, Josh? There wouldn't be nothing left of me. <laughs> Same here, man. Yeah. Well, do I, get I like that you said you would take me. one in your 20s, though. Oh, I would. I would if you would, uh, Rob, and, and you, know, you knew me when I was 20 years old. If you said tonight, let's go, and you're going to fight Mike Tyson, what would I have said? Let's fucking go. I'd, he would have been like, that dude in the bathroom? <laughs> in the bathroom. Let's go get that guy. Get that guy. Let's go get that guy. No, no, no. It's but not the first, guy in the bathroom. Hang on. But first, Taco Bell party, dude. We got to go stop there first. That's is that one. We got to go there first. Where'd that guy go? Oh, he ran down to the Taco Bell here. They were having a sex party. Yeah. I don't know, man. I think I think if Mike Tyson hit him once, dude, John Claude Van Damme's going down, dude. Is yeah. he like legit? Martial arts fighter because I know he is in movies, but yeah, yeah, Jean Claude. Yeah, he's a yeah. Mortal Kombat character. Yeah, yeah. dude, he's got to know Mortal Kombat. An awesome, an awesome Mortal Kombat him, character. Him and Steven Seagal. Yeah, dude. Bro, Steven Seagal, dude. Where the How big is that guy? Fuck, dude. Yeah. I'll fight him right now, man. Really? <laughs> he knows. He knows the fucking moves. Bro, did you? See, he was moving people with his hand, and they're like flipping for him and shit, bro. He was WWEing them, bro. Like. I've seen, I've seen that type of shit. What? So he was WWE in them. Yeah. Does that mean you agree with some of the theatrics? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you saying? What are you, are you saying, saying bro? Are you saying, what are you saying? Right now. Goes, are you saying wrestling's fake? <laughs> Can't fake gravity, <laughs> bro. So I gotta say, yeah, man. What's the next one? <laughs> uh, oh, dude, dude. Small no, World. No, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Let's talk about the one above it. What's we that? Get? Oh, the Squid Game Challenge. Have you guys seen this? So I've heard that they're doing a series on Netflix, based off right? the TV show where people are like doing the games. Yes. So are we shooting people? Dude, no. See, oh, that's no. bullshit. Bro, I'm if you're going to play no, Squid Games, play Squid Games and to the oh, death, on. bro. Otherwise, I'm, I don't want it. No, you know but they're, I mean? yeah, they are doing it. eliminations. Yeah, I saw that. Similar yeah. to the show. Pretty Did you spot. shoot him with a bean no. bag? No, no, you get shot and you see this little no, it's an ink ball. Pack. It's an ink pack that they I wear saw... around their neck. Is this green sauce? No, <laughs> it's black. There was a, a episode that Mr. Beast, is, he's done a few of them. It's kind of like Squid Game-ish. Mm. I've seen those, yeah. And there's one where like the people got hit by a laser and then they CGI'd them like, like getting zapped and they turn into like goop. So I don't know what they're going to do on the Squid Game show. Because like, that would be pretty cool. No. Just make them, um, everyone, everyone feels no. it no. and they just, they just drop there's down. There's 456 no. players or whatever. They're competing yeah. for like $4 million or something. No, yeah. there's more than that. It's there's... it's more than the original. Okay. Um, But so many people do just drop off. $4.56 like, million. Dollars. Yeah. There you go. So that's what so they're it's competing So 456 people. Okay. Right? So yeah. Each person's $10,000. And that's, I'm going to agree with your math right now. Sure. That's what they say is yeah. each person's $10,000. Mm -hmm. And so each time a person gets eliminated. It's another 10. Yeah. And so they do the games almost to the T what they do in the show squid game. But the difference is like tug of war. They're not yanking them off like right. a 50 foot podium and watching them fall. Then I don't down. want it, dude. <laughs> Fuck out of here. They're dude. playing battleship. 
that, bro. Have you played Battle Shits? That. Nobody heard that. It's okay. <laughs> that one's intense oh. because, like, ignore me. <laughs> yeah, no, we did. We did. Um, <laughs> and the difference in this is if your team loses, the captain and the lieutenant who was helping you gotta also s- get eliminated as well. You gotta have sex to talk about. You have to do butt stuff. <laughs> You gotta have sex to talk about, dude. Talk. That's a punishment, bro. Is it? I, I mean, <laughs> no, no. <I'm> just... <laughs> um, what are your thoughts on this, dude? The squid game? <laughs> on what? The squid game. We're still on Squid Game, right? Squid right Game. Yes. Okay. Squid Game. Go. Um, the butt stuff. <laughs> what are your thoughts on butt stuff? Go. Okay, well, it's a little shitty. Uh, the, the Squid Game thing, I think it's cool, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check it out. You know, yeah. Um, kind of looking forward to seeing it. I mean, it's like I said. Okay, the second half comes out at the end of the week. I mean, that's how things get released. That makes sense. No, <laughs> no, no, no. If you know Netflix, Netflix ruins series television by just dropping the whole fucking series. Yeah. Hey, here's. That's why I like Amazon Prime. They still drop weekly episodes of things. Well, Invincible. apparently awesome Netflix show. now separates how they're releasing. So they release the first five episodes and the next three are coming out at the end of this week. Yeah. What are we, seven years later waiting for the next Stranger Things? Well, how long has it been for that shit? That shit's been for forever. That was what, last year? Was it? No. The, the last Stranger Things season? Yeah, last year or two years ago. What year are we in? 2024. There you go. Yeah, but on the show, it's like 80 something, uh, 90. What are we talking about right now? Squid Game. Josh, thoughts go. <laughs> it's a challenge. The, the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mark's fucked up. Fuck, dude. I'll watch it, but I'll be disappointed because it's not real death. That's what I'm saying, I'm, dude. I'm morbid, so I enjoy watching that stuff especially no, but if you're they, gonna win money but they still get eliminated but I'll still watch it just to yeah. watch it anyway my wife wants to watch it yeah, yeah I'm, gonna I'm, I'm still gonna watch it I think that people are suing just to try to get money because they didn't fucking win dude you know what I mean they're people like, are oh, suing now they're what? suing because they're they're so they're trying to sue because they're claiming that they suffered like concussions and fucking injuries it's a fucking show so like, bro from what Getting pretend killed? I don't know, bro. No, no. That's what I'm no. But that, that, that's what I'm saying. Like that. So, like the story no. of it is. I've I've watched the sued. first five. I've watched the first <clears throat> five, and there's oh, the Squid Game. Yeah, it's already out. Yeah, yeah. The challenge. Yeah. What? That's why I'm saying, like, watch this shit. This shit is intense. Like, like they, a circus. There's bro. like a mother son duo that they push really hard, and they're like, oh yeah, and. It's t- it's the show to a T, and if you knew the show, you're just like, okay, pair up with someone you don't really care for. That's how you have to do it when it comes down to the pairing up, like, hey, one-on-one. Because when else was it one-on-one? It was like, all right, it starts getting really dicey at that point. Sorry, spoiler alert for no one who's ever seen Squid Game. Go watch it, bro. <laughs> um, But essentially, like... They're doing the same games in the same order and eliminating the same amount of players. And you're like. From the episodes you've seen, did they get to the cookie one already? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I'm interested in that one. Yeah. Dude, it sucks because then they elim- they make you pick a captain and each captain of that lane has to do it. And it's just like you pick your shape. Everyone's got to agree on a shape. If you guys can't agree on a shape, we go to the next in line. They have to pick. And it just eliminates all four (laughs) players that they can't agree. What? Yeah. It's just like, okay, we're going to start being cutthroat. Like, if you guys can't agree, boop, you're all eliminated. Yeah. And then you're just like, oh, my God, they're just dropping like flies. Please, someone agree on something. It's like nobody wants to take the umbrella. So they just, they find this big meathead group who's got one weak dude and they're like. So it's worth it. It's worth the watch. Oh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Fucking. We got five minutes to do some hot takes. Hot takes. Hot takes, hot takes, hot takes. Should I do my first topic? No? Mm -hmm. What more? Let's skip that one. (laughs) 
Ooh. It is better to be deaf than blind. Uh, as a musician, no. Right? Yeah, I would rather be able to hear things and not be able to see things. As it is, I don't want to see most people. So, you know what I mean? I want to be gonna blind help. and try acid. I heard, <laughs> I didn't hear the Sid. I heard yeah. I want to be blind and try acid. I was like, what? <laughs> Do it, dude. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, but I'm just like, what? What, what do you is, see, dude? What do they see? I, I mean, I'm not blind, so I know what I see. But I'm wondering they if they see everything in eight bit, bro. That'd be dope. Check, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, deaf or blind? I, I don't. I mean, I'd hate to be deaf. What? What? Huh? <laughs> so I mean, you go blind? Kind of. I mean, I kind of do music. A little so bit. That would, that Sometimes would kinda, that would kind of suck not to be able to hear. You know, as much as I don't want to lose sight. Yeah. You know, can I just not smell anymore? Imagine Danny being blind and still making him do everything on the computer for us. <laughs> it's not that fair. No, up, up more, like, Danny. Up, up more. Up, you know, I'd have to figure all that out. <laughs> Who needs to feel it? That's got to be rough. It's got to be rough. Josh? I don't know. It's tough, man. I agree with you, musician wise. Nah, I want to yeah, hear. Your vision. It's like, but nah. Yeah, and. I think if I was blind, I'd be scared. The dark? I, yeah, like well, I mean, like it would always be like, <laughs> what the hell's going on around me? I I couldn't imagine. I'm so back when I was doing Lyft and Uber for a while, I picked up a blind dude mm -hmm. and dropped him off, <laughs> and this is legit. Oh, just set him down. I I picked him up, and I was he was just like, I pull up and he's like, thanks. And I literally had to watch the guy because I'm like, does he know where I left him? Like, where is he going? You know, like, where is he going? He was like 100% blind. Like, you know, he had like his walking stick and stuff. And he just, he used his app, his, his phone for everything to let him know where he was at all times. And that's how he knew where he was, which was pretty crazy. Yeah. How would you know he wasn't Daredevil? Um, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, no clue, right? You no wouldn't know. Yeah. He wouldn't tell me his secret idea. Why are you watching a blind dude? I wasn't seems watching. unfair. I wasn't watching. <laughs> <laughs> it totally seems like one-sided. Did I grab one? Go, go, Danny. <laughs> no, you grabbed one. Right? Early birds are more productive than night owls. The fuck? I'm a night owl, so here's, I couldn't agree with that at all. Yeah, here's the problem, though. I'm generous as a motherfucker. I will not do shit at night because I know my wife still has to sleep. So it's like, I will do what I can. But there's not a whole lot of, like, vacuuming going on, you know, cleaning up, picking up shit. Hey, I can actually uh, work on the house, turn on music. Nope. I got to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I've always been a night person. Back in high school, I couldn't fucking sleep. And so that caused a lot of issues for me. So, and that's why I work nights. Because I'm up anyways and might as well make money, right? So... Danny? I'm a night person. Night person. Yeah. How late? <laughs> Two, three, four. You didn't have what to time answer is that. It? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Josh. Both. Both. Yeah. Because I can stay up all night if we need to, but there's just shit you got to get done during the day too. But that's also having to deal with the kids. Just based off our text group that we have i don't think rob's ever seen before 2 p.m yeah <laughs> i don't think he knows what that is right <laughs> no i do i do I it's always about... us texting all day and then rob's like i just woke okay. up <laughs> <It's> like, yeah, <laughs> well, but like i'm going to bed at like nine or ten in the morning like all right I'm you don't up. go straight to sleep when you get home from work fuck no where do you think i get my fortnight in <laughs> that makes sense dude i, I feel that dude i just uh, i just get home take off my shoes and fucking just be like all right, I got to, because I put my whole setup upstairs mm -hmm. and now it's just like, okay, now I'll go raid the kitchen. Okay, this is what I'll grab this time. And then I'll go back upstairs and be like, okay, go do I want to go to bed? No, I'll go around to you and then go grab more snacks and then go back up and then I'm like, okay, I'm done playing video games. That time means I'm bed. done with snacks. Yeah, yeah I, usually, I usually go to bed right when I get home. Yeah, me too, dude. I, I come home, yeah. shower, fall right to sleep. No, you stay up too? Well, I After still want to eat. Yeah. So, no, I'm up for at least another three, four hours. 
I would say it depends. Like when I know it's my last, so when I know it's my Friday, I'll stay up as till I fucking fall asleep on the couch with the fucking PlayStation controller in my hand. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah. like, so like that's because normally, um, my last days there's nobody home, so I'm just fucking okay, cool. Let's fucking play some video games. I feel that, dude. With that being said, this has been the last day of forecast. We are the last days of war. You guys, please check out the links in our bio. Subscribe to all of our stuff. Subscribe to our YouTube. Uh, we will catch you next week. Yeah, check out some of the old ones. The old ones are good, too. That's right. That one about the Alpha Jaconians? Uh, Fire. Man.